Welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Southern Mama. Um, I'm just laying here relaxing and I've been putting away stuff, uh, getting all the Christmas stuff put away and we still need to take it out of our Christmas tree, but we gotta excuse the friend's theme song, uh, but we still gotta get like some more totes and stuff like that. But it, um, I just want to hop on here, kind of reflect from 2018 and set my goals for 2019 because I'm not a firm believer that everyone follows their 2009 or they're going into New Year's resolution. Like I do not think we normally follow those, but it's okay to set goals and not follow them because it's a goal and you'll at least get some process somewhere started and um, it doesn't hurt to try and who knows you might accomplish your goal. I hope that everyone does. If you have your mindset to some, something, whether it's just to put your phone down a little bit more, whether it's to start a project you haven't started, as simple as scrapbooking or redecorating your home or organizing stuff, I know that's been a plus for us. We got rid of um, a bunch of stuff that we don't eat, don't drink, stuff like that. Um, decluttered a lot of stuff and it just feels like a brand new start. And I love that. I love doing that. Before, um, or right after I had Levi, I got rid of a bunch of clothes I don't wear because I'm like a clothes hoarder to the max. So um, I got rid of a bunch of those. And I tend to do that quite often. I feel so good because like it's stuff like I know I'll go back to my normal size, but I won't, I don't know, maybe it's something I just don't enjoy anymore, it's not my style, or um, the older I've got, the more simple, simplistic, like, items I like in my closet. Like, I know it's kind of boring, but, like, I just, like, well, basic blue jeans, stuff like that, like, I don't know, stripes. Some patterns just that don't go out of style. Um, I think I do like a few funky pieces like in there. So I'll keep those and like I might not wear them. But at least I can say I have them if I want to go out somewhere and wear them. But um, yeah, I also have a goal every day. Well, not every day. But most days to get up and get ready. Whether it's just a little bit of mascara. I don't need a full face every day. I'm a mom and 90% of the time I'm home. So I do not need to wear a full face every day, but um, if I do have the energy, I will. And if I don't, then a little mascara just makes me feel so much better about myself. I wore earrings that I never wear because I never wear earrings. And I had like 25 pairs of earrings and I just don't wear them. I don't know why, but um, I put them on. I like did that. I wore like a cute little... Um, sweatsuit set and um I felt so much better about myself like I was like oh I'm putting together and I wasn't my hair wasn't much better than this it was like a little more fixed but um and my makeup wasn't like sweating off my face because I started cleaning and declutter declutterizing I don't know if I will work with it um but yeah like so I felt so much better about myself, just getting a little bit of, like, looking normal. Like, most of the time, I do wear um, eyeliner and mascara, but my eyes really irritated, so I was just like, okay, I got makeup in it the other day, and then it just, like, this it, like, swelled up on this eyelid, because it got, like, underneath my eyelids, so I kind of, like, have refrained from wearing eyeliner because the eyeliner that I use I'd like how dark it is and how it applies but it does tend to like um come off the longer in the day and that's what it did and then it caused it to go underneath my eyelid and it got I guess irritated or something like that I don't really think it got infected but it's irritated so I'm just wearing mascara but I felt so much better about myself. I also do have fitness goals for 2019. Um, yeah, fitness goals. I want to get back down to my weight or at least um, 
I mean, the weight before I had Levi was 135, and I felt really good about myself. Before I had Will, I was 123. I was super, super skinny, and uh, I was like, I didn't like the way I looked, and I was bigger. Like, I was in a size 7 or 9 because it was, like, proportion weird. I didn't work out. I wasn't toned anywhere. When I, before I had Levi, I was a size 6. And, um, I looked, like, way better. Like, my body was toned. Everything was toned. So, I'm going to get back into that. I've been working out a little here and there. And, um, trying to, like, proportion my meal sizes and all, all that kind of stuff. And drink more water. Even though I'm bad about Dr. Pepper. I'm slowing down. I used to only drink, like... After I had will and everything, occasionally I would have a soda or two, but nothing like before. And I've gotten into like a bad habit of like, I need soda, but I don't need soda. Like I've been drinking sweet tea and I haven't drank sweet tea in years. It's always been on sweet tea, but I've been drinking sweet tea lately. So I need to like chill on that. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, I just want to spend more time with family, maybe go somewhere. I really want us to take a road trip or something at some point, maybe a couple, but definitely at least get one in before the year is up because I know um, Will loves them, I love them, Denim loves them, and it's just so, you don't have to go far or anything like that, and it doesn't have to be like an outrageous trip, but just somewhere to get us like out of town and all that kind of stuff. Also in 2019, we got to look forward to moving in a couple months, which I'm not looking forward to, but I am in the sense that I want to be closer to family, but both sides of our family live in the Dallas area and we live in Waco. So we're looking to move somewhere in North Texas. And then, um, yeah, so Hopefully, I'll get on track with that because I've been looking at houses and stuff like that. But it just really stinks because we have fully moved into this house. Everything's where we like it, you know. Um, everything's just put away where we want it to be. Everything's, it feels like a home. It feels like things are slowing down since we moved here and then we're gonna move again so I guess you know it was this was a house that we'll always remember like I'll do more of it when we get ready to leave but um you know this is where we brought this is where we came home to as a family and this is where we brought Levi home from the hospital and it just has, like, so many memories have been made here. Will has grown up so much since we moved here. We've grown in our relationship here. We've just, it's just crazy everything that's taken place here. You know, like, watching Will do stuff new in the backyard or whatever it's been. Or him discovering something or whatever it was. Like, it was just great, like. He has had a wonderful time here. He loves living in the country. He loves living where we do. So I'm sure it will be a little hard on him to leave because he causes his um, upper home, like fixer upper, since he knows like we don't live far from the silos and stuff like that. And he's watched every episode of Fixer Upper with me. So, and he loves that show. He loves chip games so when um we moved here and we were looking at houses he was like oh, the only thing that he knew about houses was from this show and every time we would look at a house we looked at a bunch in Waco we actually live outside of Waco but we looked at a bunch in Waco and the whole time he was like mom we're next to the upper place and it's fixer upper and so he he would like just say that every house that we looked at and he's like, oh, mom, you got to do this, you do this. And we demo the walls, but he didn't realize we were just renting and we weren't buying the home. We weren't refixing these homes. So, um, 
he got really, really, really excited. And when we first came into this house, he was like, this is it. This is it. He told us that this was it. This was the house that he wanted. And so it just so happened that it was out of all the houses we looked at, it was the house that we all agreed on. But it was really sweet for his input that he loved this house. And it's bittersweet moving because I do want to be close to family. He wants to be close to family. And Didam wants to be close to family. And Levi, it's just, it helps when you have little ones. And we live so far from, we have a hospital in town. But if anything happens, like, we're going to be moved to, because it's such a small hospital. And if anything was to happen, then it would be moved to another hospital, whether it was Dallas or Waco or whatever it was severe, if anything was ever to happen, God forbid. And, but, um... Yeah, like, we just need, we want to live in the country still, but we need to be back home, I guess it would say. Like, we need to be around one of those areas. It doesn't have to necessarily be super close to family, but 45 minutes even is, would be fine compared to two hours. Plus, away from most of our family. So, with that being said, this year has brought us so, or this last year has brought us so much joy. You know, everything happened, like I said, in this house. Like, we were, um, we came together as a family. And, you know, there's another little one here now. That's him. And, um... It's just been such an exciting year and full of so many blessings. And then come 2019, we want to still make it that fun, <clears throat> um, blissfulness and all that. But I'm going to hop on here or hop off of here. If you have it already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, share this. Thank you all. Have a good night.